Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So please excuse my dress sense for today. Um, I've been out on a family day because it's my birthday in a couple of days and uh, today was my day off so we went out today for my birthday and it was blistering hot so I changed into this. I drove here because I knew this morning I was having a clutch laid to one of my uh, favourite snakes I own and here's a photo of that now. Uh, I caught her in the act. Well basically I've been on a day out it was so incredibly hot, I changed into this vest and unfortunately my t-shirt went in my wife's car. I drove here, realised I had my t-shirt. So excuse once again my dress sense. So the reason I'm pulling this clutch on camera, whereas uh, most of I'm not kind of pulling on camera, is because one, um, I think it'll be a nice size clutch. I palpated her a couple of weeks ago and she had between eight and nine eggs. So, I wanted to pull it on clutch. Uh, this female I produced in 2012, she means a great deal to me. I love her to bits. She's just a really big snake. She's a pastel 100% heck clown, and she's bred to a pastel spot nose clown. So hopefully get some killer spot nose clowns and other um, combos like that. So I'll pull this one on clutch, quickly run through what I do once again. Um, you've all pretty much seen it by now. But um, while I'm on the subject, uh, people have asked the, what racks these are. These are JBK racks and I'd highly recommend them and I'd highly recommend these what they're called secret drawers and Jay himself is a fantastic guy to work with so if anyone's thinking of getting these racks definitely definitely uh, go for them. They're really really good and Jay is a top fella. A really nice guy. So you see ovulation 8th of the 5th 18 so I've put 9 eggs. It did say 8 stra uh, stroke 9 um, not convinced which one but oh she is halfway off them this activity in the room has woken her up oh oh calm down you this is a good clutch well so we've got two four six eight nine perfect um she's perfectly empty looking great she still wears quite a lot so I prepared her bath, clean water, prepared everything. Now, I don't normally candle them, but I'm going to do it on this occasion. Now I do, I did get two boxes ready, just on the off chance I needed them. I was secretly hoping she'd do over 10 eggs. But I'll just check you can see that. Yeah, I'll just move it so that's a bit better. So, fantastic clutch be able to take that one in one. Now I will uh, clean that out before she goes back in here. Well I'll get the draw from above but it's prepped. So she'll now go in here. I've got a few bits and bobs I have to do to it before she can go in like clean her water bottle, new water and stuff but that's now for her and then this will be cleaned out at a later date. Well, not a later date, off camera, because it's the boring part. So she'll go in this when she's ready. I won't film putting her back in because you've all seen it. Now I will candle these. So, yeah, everyone so far, whoops. Right, so, this one, and I was going to separate anyway. I hope you can see that, I'll bring it closer. So I hope you can make this out. See the embryos on the side. So I'm gonna, and this is all yellow, I'm gonna rotate that egg. This is uh, turned into a slightly educational video for anyone who is new. Now, once again, uh, vermiculite with egg crate on top or light diffuser, saturated in water, way too much water if you wasn't using the egg crate. If you can, make, if you can see it on camera, she's taking in fluids which are good. That's why it's so important you use new fresh water with every snake and do not use the water on more than one snake. You probably could and it probably wouldn't do any real harm, but what, you know, what's the point? Uh, just give them the care and love they, do, they require and they, they certainly should be entitled to and get them clean, fresh water for each and every one. Now once, once again I'm going to separate this egg. So I, what I do is I just work my fingers between a bit like a sawing action. So we're gonna just separate this one. 
Now, it's stuck pretty well, but we can get this one up here. It's stuck to three eggs. So, just once again, I'm going to handle it once again, get it the correct way up, and just for you, your guys' sake, uh, for your information. So, there's the embryo on top. So now this is now the correct way up. I hope you can see that. Once again, I'm sorry my videos are sketchy, but for now, sketchy videos are better than no videos, I guess. Believe it or not, here's an interesting fact for you. Believe it or not, my blood cousin, who is the son of my father's brother, is a producer of Star Wars, uh, the biggest franchise ever, and I struggle with YouTube videos, so obviously his talent doesn't doesn't run in our family. So my fear has just become a reality. So just gonna make these um, fit now. For those of you who don't know, you don't want your egg eggs because they are gonna grow slightly during incubation because they're going to take on humidity and they're going to plump out so you need to leave a nice air gap in fact I want to put them in last you need to leave a nice air gap um, so when they grow they don't wick water and what I mean by wicking is if ever you have a, ever owned a, a petrol lighter a, a zippo that has a, a, um, a wick some um, a bit like a candle uh, well, yeah, I think it is the same candle wick. Now, wicking water means just like the Zippo lighter, you've got your square light, you've got the petrol in the bottom, and it wicks the petrol up. So, obviously, the wick lights. So, these will do exactly the same if if they've um, if they're touching the plastic sides. Now, that's perfect. I'm happy with that. So, what I'll do before I candle them once again is check none are touching the top which they're not that one's very close but it does have a gap now because that will grow slightly i'm just gonna nussle the crate down a little bit so triple check everything's perfect there i'm gonna candle them once more now i'm going to town on the candling on this video it's not because i'm filming it it's because i am just triple checking everything yeah so the embryo is the right way up now I don't put pen marks on my eggs just because I always make sure they can't roll so I don't I, I don't personally need to but you know I could if I, I really wanted so today is the 25th of June um, because it's the day after the IHS show and it's three days before my birthday so I'm just going to check which clutch this is. One, two, three, four, five. So this is clutch six. So first information I typically write clutch six. Clutch six. I always write the female first. Pastel. Pet. Clown. Times. Pastel. Spot nose, clown. Oh, clown spot with an X for some reason. Uh, how many eggs did we say? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine eggs, yeah. All perfect, nine. So, nine eggs. Zero slugs. Which is much better from the clutch before. Uh, I had a horrible disaster uh, and the date so 25th of June 18 now a little trick for everyone and this is a really good trick if you've got an iPhone and I'm filming on mine so I can't do it but if you've got an iPhone and you've got Siri activated you can say Siri what date will it be in 58 days they'll give you the exact date so then you can fill that information out so here's that tip I was talking about I'll just interrupt the video just to show you Hey Siri, what date will it be in 58 days? It's Wednesday, the 22nd of August 2018. Thanks Siri, I love you.
You hardly know me. So it's a little trick I use off camera. So it's very, very, very handy, very useful. And that's one of the biggest tips you'll ever take from my channel. I love it. Siri, what date will it be in 58 days? And he tells me the answer. And I don't have to sit and count it out or work it out. So that goes in the incubator. And in 58 days, if, you, if you're subscribing to the channel in 58 days, I'll do a cutting video so you'll see what... Um, what awesome babies we get from this clutch. So in the incubator, she's, I'll give her a little bit more time. I'm gonna build it a little bit humid in this clean water, everything else, and then I'll be done. So thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, two thumbs down, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Cheers. There she goes. Beautiful female. Still looks fantastic, even though she just laid all the eggs. So, fresh bed in, brand new water, that's not bits in the bottom water by the way, that's uh, just the transparency of the waterfall. So there she goes guys, a couple of days, offer her her first food, not too large prey item, just to get her digestive system slowly working again, and then, um, and then you slowly amp the size of the food up. Cheers guys!